Today we're going to wire the internally powered 4 to 20 milliamp output for a Sage Prime thermal mass flow meter. This particular meter is DC powered and we're just going to give you an example of what proper wiring looks like. So on the left side we have the A terminals, in the middle we have the B terminals, and to the right we have the C terminals. Kyle's going to start by hooking up the actual power to the meter. He's going to put the negative wire on B6, the positive wire on B5. Please note that we also need a jumper between B4 and B5 for internal 4 to 20 to work properly. Next he's going to hook up the actual 4 to 20 wires. He's going to put the ground wire on C6 and the return wire on C5. And now we have proper wiring for internally powered 4 to 20. Next we just want to connect a multimeter and power up the meter so you can see exactly what it looks like when everything is functioning properly. So the meter will cycle through. It's beginning to boot up. And you'll see all the addresses. Um, this is also a good time to tell you that you can request wiring diagrams from us at info at sagemetering.com. Notice that the meter shoots up to 20 milliamps full scale and returns back down to around 4. We're at around 0 to no flow here, so we'll be roughly around 4 milliamps. And that's it. This is a properly wired, internally powered 4 to 20 output for the Sage Prime Thermal Mass Flow Meter.